Hey everybody, it's Troy Stein. I have a customer who was asking, how do I take my green screen and make it not only so that I can fit my green screen on top of a screen recording, but so that I look like I'm in a different room than I'm in? And so maybe something a little bit more like this. So how do we achieve that look? Let's get started. Okay, uh, first thing we do is we start with our green screen. I hope uh, you have a well lit background. If not, wait till the end and I'll give you a couple of tips about how to deal with that. But uh, we have that and we're going to go to the visual effects. Going to go to remove color. We drag remove color down. I'll go relatively quickly because you probably know how this works. But over here on the property side, I choose the eyedropper and then I choose the color and then uh, I can uh, modify the tolerances so that you can uh, identify as much green as possible from there. And I can get a little softer on the edges if necessary, as well as uh, change the, you know, how much fringe uh, is happening on the edges there. We're going to go with something like that. Okay. The other thing we'll do with this is we'll scale it down. And uh, let's just drop it over here in the corner for now. Okay. Uh, now we're going to take the uh, background uh, that we wanted. And that gives us at least a sense of scale. So we can say, okay, well, let's, let's bring him up a little bit. And now we need to bring uh, him into a new room, right? So I happen to have uh, found uh, a clip here from uh, Shutterstock. Actually, that's not true. It's not, uh, Shutterstock is, is the provider for assets or library.techsmith.com. So I uh, size that up just about there and then I get to move it underneath him. So it looks like that. Now I may need to uh, move that down a little bit. And I can always use the crop tool if necessary. If I'm thinking I want it to have a sort of a wide screen view, um, or I need to make things feel a little bit uh, tighter around those windows, I can do that as well. Okay. so. We've created the effect. Uh, we're pretty good to go there. Now let's take a look at what happens if you don't have great uh, green screen. So here's what it looks like when you've got good green screen. Let me turn that off and you can see it. Uh, here's what it's like when you don't have great green screen. And uh, actually, sorry, not that one, my bad. Sorry folks, this one right here. There we go. Uh, you can see uh, the, it's actually not so much that the green screen is bad, but the lighting is inconsistent. Uh, and if that's the case, and you try to remove the background colors, I'm gonna go again to visual effects. I go to remove a color, I drag that on here, and um, I'm gonna choose my color. I'll choose again the brightest color I can. You see that it does a decent job around his body. I can play with the tolerance a little bit, but it really shows up um, when I try to put him, let's scale him down over here, put him on top of that background, and you can already see how it looks a little bit rough over there. So uh, some options for that. Once again, the crop tool is your friend up here. I hit that and now I can even crop around his body if necessary. And this gets reasonably close. Uh, now it's not perfect, it, and but it's a, it's a start. Um, it, when, if, that's, if that's all you got. Um, you can get into some advanced track matting, but I'm not gonna go in, into that here. I guess the other thing, yeah, it's worth doing is maybe like bring him off a little bit so you could actually crop around him to get rid and you could pretend that he, that's your camera shot um, and then uh, with that background image we'll just let's just bring that a little bit closer and crop this sh that shot a little bit Anyways, those are some options for you there. I hope um, this is uh, at all useful for you. Thanks a bunch for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.